Jamal, great to see you, fella. Um, Eddie, last week said the Manchester United win was probably the best of the season. Would you agree or not? Yeah, I'd say it was definitely up there. Um, Performance-wise, yeah, I think to a man we were, we were spot on. Um, I think it was a bit unlucky not to maybe score a few more goals, especially first half, but um, overall we're all delighted with the three points. Um, listen, beating Chelsea, then drawn with PSG, and then beating Manchester United. With all these injuries going on, how the heck are you guys accomplishing what you're currently accomplishing at Newcastle? I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's a challenge, but it's a, it's a challenge. That, you know, we want to be in this uh, position where we're playing all these games and Champions League games. We wouldn't change it for the world, obviously. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult with the amount of bodies we, we have available, but um, I think we're quite a resilient group. Um, and yeah, everybody wants to play. And, and uh, yeah, I just think we're just doing our best to cope with it and manage it how, how we can. I guess the injuries, though, do provide to put a positive spin on it. It provides opportunities for other players. And Lewis Miley, I mean, yeah. 17 years old. Just, just how good is he for a 17-year-old kid? Yeah, um, I mean, he's, he's been thrown in the deep end. Uh, he's under the spotlight. He's probably, he's probably played three of the biggest games, you know, that we, well, we've played in ourselves. Yeah. But um, now, nah, for me, it started in pre-season. When we went to America, he was, he was probably our best player in pre-season. Um, good on the ball, good athlete, you know, he's a good high and he's a great lad as well. He wants to learn, he wants to listen. Um, so yeah, he's got a bright future and I think he's dealing with these games and, and the spotlight really well. Um, and yeah, he's got good people around him to support him. And obviously one of those injuries was Sven, which led to you coming back into the start in 11. I think the kids are calling it the Lascelles redemption arc this season about how you're performing, about how you're just kind of revitalising your career and performing out of your skin. How do you see it? Um, how do I see it? I think, I think, yeah, I spent a long time not playing, but I always you know, trained really hard and kept my fitness up. And um, yeah, I kind of understand, understood the the situation yeah and I was just kind of ready when when called upon and obviously I've I've come into the team and I, I'll just give my all and I'll keep doing my all uh, for as long as I play um, so yeah coming out of St James's Park on on Saturday night I think it was you were you were driving out at the end of a game and as you drove past one of the fans I was walking by him and he said uh, Jamal Lassell is just like everything that New, everything good that Newcastle United should be about your career, about how you've been captain here for so long. How does that sort of thing make you feel to hear the fans say that? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, of course, it's, 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 it's special when um, fans say things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it means a lot to me and, you know, I'd like to, to think myself that, you know, I do give everything for the club and I, I always will do. Um, I do understand, I do understand what it means to people here. Yeah. Um, you know, it took me a couple of years to kind of, you know, understand and see, you know, what what they really wanted. But I've been here for a long time, just turned 30, and um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in a really really good place, and I'm, I'm fortunate to be in this position. Of course, into what eighth, ninth year as captain as well. When you kind of joined and Rafa had made you captain as well, did you ever think that you'd be in moments facing down Kylian Mbappe and just nipping the ball off him or not? To be honest, no, I never thought. I never really thought I'd play Champions League football. Um, uh, well, especially like under you know kind of the older yeah. ownership, it was kind of more about survival, and um, you know every season was a real grind. But um, you know since the new owners come in and, and the new manager, then you, you know, all that ambition and you get like a yeah you, you start you start to believe it. And as a group of players, we did that, and here we are now. Do you think the Champions League has brought you your best memories, not just as a player, but as a person in your life, I guess, as well? Yeah, by far. Um, for one, the atmospheres I've seen at, at the Champions League games, and for two, you know, the stage it's at. Not many players can can say that they've played um, Champions League football. Um, so, and yeah, we're just hoping that we can um, beat Milan and and uh, yeah, stay stay in. So. It might not be the Champions League itself, but is Silverware still the ultimate ambition for you? As and when you know your Newcastle career, your football career does come to an end eventually. Yeah, I'd, I'd absolutely love that. I mean, I, we do kind of concentrate, you know, just a game at a time. But I think as as players, you almost do think that, yeah, we've done great. We've got ourselves in this competition. We've, we've finished this hype in the league. But we, we want something to kind of show for that. And I think, 
you know, this season is a really difficult season with the cars have been given injuries and everything else. But uh, yeah, I think it'd be, I think it'd be amazing. It'd be fantastic for for everybody at Newcastle if we were to to get some sort of silverware. Um, yeah, that's that's what we all want. Who knows? Could be the FA Cup if it is to be the FA Cup this season. Newcastle are going to have to get past Sunderland. What's the thoughts of the Newcastle captain on on drawing Sunderland? First time in seven and a half years for the derby. Yeah, I mean you couldn't you couldn't write it really. Um, I mean the reaction from the boys. Um, you know I think we're all really looking forward to it. And you know the the importance of for me the importance of understanding is it's, it's a derby as well. Um, I think when you have like a lot of I don't know foreign players and uh, maybe younger players and stuff maybe. People might not realise the, the the importance of how big the game is, yeah. but um, yeah, it's a huge game. I think Dummy and Mark spoke spoke up the other day in front of the group about you know what it means to to everybody involved at, in New, at Newcastle United, um, you know, beating them, and uh, yeah, it's going to be you know, we're all really looking forward to it. Hopefully, a few more derbies to come as well because they're always they're always good fun certainly to watch. But for you, obviously, the contract up in the summer. How much longer can you see yourself at Newcastle United? How long would you want to stay here? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I absolutely love it here. Uh, I've been here for a long time. I think uh, eight years as captain, nine years at, at Newcastle. So you know, a really long time. Not many players really do that. But um, you know, I love it. And I think now that I've uh, you know, definitely that I'm, I'm in a team and you know got a run of games going. It's, it's uh, you know I feel in a, in a really good place. So um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, I think I'm just you know just focusing on uh, you know winning tomorrow's game yeah. Um, and yeah, just trying to do as well as I can um, for the team.